Hey guys, Hippie here, uh, and today I'm going to go through a uh, Deep Rock Galactic Driller uh, game. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing a refining mission, and I'm going to be trying to complete the Armor Hunt Scale Brigade quest line. Uh, this is all going to be in Has 5, as you can see. And I got a pretty interesting one today. I got a uh, refinery mission on the radioactive exclusion zone, which is going to suck, and no shield, pseudo disruption. So normally that's pretty tough. Uh, and it will be a tougher mission, but I like playing Driller. It's uh, my highest rated class. So in, in this mode, the Driller sh really shines because you can drill uh, holes straight to the mining wells. Uh, if your team requests that, or if you think that that's good, sometimes uh, just bunching them all together is preferable. But for this one, we'll see uh, how the game goes. But we're gonna go through the build real quick uh, that I would normally take on something like this. Uh, I'm going to be running a sticky fuel overclock on the flamethrower. Uh, I run the flamethrower, I think the crowd cannon is extremely good and just as good, uh, but I just like to use the flamethrower a lot. Uh, and with that, I'm going to go high capacity tanks because uh, sticky fuel, as you can see, greatly extended sticky flame duration, increased damage from sticky flames, but it gives you a dec decreased tank capacity, so you can only hold 50 at a time, and you also get less ammo overall. So for this one, you definitely want uh, anything that can give you uh, magazine capacity uh, and so in the first tier you definitely want to go hi high capacity tanks in my opinion high pressure ejector is fine it's just not that great and then go having 25 ammo for this is pretty tough so then i would go next on the second tier you got uh damage which gives five damage uh you got trip uh triple filtered fuel which is heat which is uh increases how quickly they they get on fire and burn uh so it's the quicker your dot goes into effect uh and then you got sticky flames durations increase now you'd think I'm running a sticky fuel build. I feel like this is overkill. Eight seconds is a long time. If you want 11, that whatever. This tier is really anything you want. I prefer the uh, unfiltered fuel just so I can still do like straight on hit damage as well. Uh, but all of them work. Even the fuel one would work well, especially um, if you're just running a pure sticky flames build, this might actually be kind of better. So then you would get them to things that walk through your fire will be on fire get the on fire status quicker i would think that's how that works uh, if not then we'll figure that out later but i like damage then you can do fuel consumption rate uh, this can be good i think that uh if you're going like heavy heavy damage then this is pretty good but uh when you're going on has five it's kind of tough to, to do this because you're going to be reloading constantly you're going to run out of ammo so quick that's pretty tough for me personally uh, and since I'm running a sticky flame build, I always go the second option in the third tier, if I'm running sticky flame that is, which I am, and so they'll be slowed. Uh, more fuel is fine. If you really don't care about the slow part, then I would go with the more fuel. Uh, but I personally like the utility of the slow, just to help the team out. Then for the fourth tier, you have a fear, you have sticky flame duration increase, and then you have fuel. So I didn't pick fuel in the second, I mean the third tier, so then this is where I'm going to take it because I really want 300 base fuel. Uh, like I said earlier, 11 seconds is, it's fine. You could go all the way and get, you know, 14 seconds if you really want. I find that that's unnecessarily, you're not, not going to find many points in the game where you're just sitting there that long, uh, unless you're constantly bunkering then you could get some effect out of that which so if that's what you're doing then totally do that uh the fear is fine uh, but since i want the ammo i'm gonna take this uh, and then for the final tier i'm gonna take heat things up around you so things get closer to me get on fire quicker over the direct damage i mean either of these are fine and i do have a little bit of direct damage but for my play style i normally don't aim at things a lot like too too often uh, so i'm gonna go heat radiance this time and then we're gonna go sticky fuel and then I like to go the minor pistol build a lot. Uh, I mean, the EPC build, which for me, I go two, two, one, two, two, which is ammo and then uh, projectile speed. So you can shoot it, shoot it easier. Some people run, uh, I think it's, hmm, it's one of these. It makes the explosion bigger. I think it's this one. Uh, some people run that. It might be this one. But some people run the other ones to make it bigger explosions. I don't really care. I just like to, make sure I aim correctly <laughs> and I'll get it. Uh, then you want this one to use less energy so you can actually get some shots if you mess up easier. Uh, this may also work. 
Uh, this seems more for like if you're running a uh, left click build. Um, this is not a big deal and you just, just, you just don't want to overheat really. And you will occasionally, but it's not that big of a deal. You're mostly going to be using this pistol in my, in how I play, I'm mostly using this to mine. So it's a, if I get it overheat, I'm probably safe. I'll just wait and get it. You just wait. So the ammo is more appealing to me. And then to do the, the mining build, you need to run the second one, which is thin containment field, which allows you to uh, shoot an overcharge shot and then shooting it or somebody else can shoot it as well. Whatever does damage to it can make it explode into a big area, allowing you to mine. And then I run heat pipe with that, so less ammo consumed by the charge shot, faster charge rate, and normal shots generate more heat. I don't really care. I just try not to use it too often. Uh, pick, I just like to do damage overall. Uh, for this one, I like to do more explosives. I like to do, you, know, you gotta pick it up. I like to do another explosive, and then I like to do a big area. Uh, you could just do stun as well. Uh, I just prefer to make big holes, so that's what I like to do. And that's all there is to that. This is, uh, I like to do drill faster instead of more fuel. That's personal preference. Uh, if you're running a melee build, then of course you take this one. Um, I just don't, I try not to overheat, so this is useless to me. On the second tier, first tier, you gotta go that one. Fourth tier, uh, I don't use this on this build, so more fuel. I like to go neurotoxin grenades. Uh, just so I can get that explosive. I don't use them enough, but it's my my preferred. I like to run uh, this one more, uh, especially if you're running solo, you're definitely gonna want this, a bigger mineral bag thing. Then you're gonna, I do, oh, oh, good thing I did this video because I would totally forgot about that. If you're running a shield disruption mission, you don't wanna go, your shield can absorb more damage before breaking. You want max health increased. If you forget to do that, then the game's over and you're gonna lose. No, it's not that big of a deal. But you might as well do this if you can remember. I hardly ever do. But I did just now making this freaking video. Nice. All right, next we got the third tier. You got to take that. The fourth tier, finally. I've seen some people take both of these, and I, I just don't really... They seem fine. They seem fine. It's just I just don't see that big of a deal. You could just say, oh, you just don't die, and this one is kind of useless. And that's true. Or that's also true with... Uh, yeah, just yeah, just don't die. But the one time you do die, this invulnerability can allow you to pick somebody up or run and get to safety real quick. This is my favorite thing to go on this. All right, so that means we are ready to go. I'm gonna check the beer. Ooh, tunnel rat. Nah, whatever. If there's a point extraction or something where things can be up in the ceiling, then I totally do it. So I'll see you guys in the game. Right off, I'm starting off strong, because as you do in most Has-5 missions. Uh, of course, drillers are super, super weak against the Mactera spawners, uh, or Mactera's of any kind. I'm sorry, guy. Uh, I think that you may do more damage to them, but, you know, your range is really tough when dealing with these things. Oh, they're not making me really have to get out yet, so I'm not going to. That's where I was worried about, okay? I'm gonna get out now. Alright, I'm gonna see. With eight seconds, I can totally get them to walk back and forth through here. Kill themselves slowly. Not really even slowly. Like, that was a huge wave that just died. Not that not that slowly. And they're all... Wow, two of them are right next to each other. It's an interesting setup. One of the big reasons I picked... To make a video on this because also the radio exact eight radioactive exclusion zone uh you know has a lot of things that driller can do with like blowing up shit doesn't have to be just with your drills if i can actually land one of these get it with that bam there you go you just helped your team a lot not in that situation because i'm the only one playing but you know what i was saying as you can see i don't really focus a lot on shooting like grunts i just get them to aggro on me and then I will make some kind of line, and I'll just go through it and die. 
this, when you're by yourself, this is, allows you to kill most hordes of, of any size. Even the upgraded tiers of the grunts, like the slashers and the uh, guards, will eventually die from that. So, guards are a little bit more uh, you know, resilient, but they will die if you keep it up. You may have to get in some auto attacks or actually, you know, force your fire on them. No one saw that. But, uh... They'll still die too. Really, even Praetorians will die if you keep it up long enough. If you kite them over and over again. That's why I love this stuff. Oh my god, what is all this? One, two, three. So I just killed like two or three. This is insanity. Okay. I'm gonna let you guys live for right now because this is silly. But that's the only reason, you hear me? All right, so I got a swarm. Got an Enor Pro. See if I can pull this off while I'm running. Bada bing. Nope, can't do it. Gotta run. And my biggest enemy. I freaking hate these spitters. Definitely those and spawners. I mean, uh, these spawns are some of the worst enemies to fight in the game. One has five for sure. Hey, that's not what I want to hear. I think I could see him before he showed up. Oh my good golly. The dash got out of the way. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about my perks. Silly me. That's okay. I need to get closer actually. Pretty sure I took the perk that, yeah, L, the uh, veteran depositor or whatever. So I take 30% less damage within 7 meters or something like that of refuel spots. So I need to stay kind of close to here. Or I'll just get grabbed. Thank you. But I do kind of lose my ability to. Uh, Jesus Christ, what is this? That's one way you can use that as a weapon. Uh, but as you can see, there's still like 10 million more of these things. Oh, Jesus balls. What a game. This is what, you know, this is what I get. I get a Magtoria Swarm right as I start. And if that guy joins in too quickly, then I won't get saved. All right. Already out of ammo, huh? This is the worst. Ooh, look at this diamond boy. All right. That'll make it a lot easier. Hey, I heard something. There we go. Die. Oh my god. And I'm stuck in the hole I drilled. So what I get? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Actually, I don't need to do that. Can you? Okay. Jesus. All right, I need to turn in. I need to put a freaking... Oh, hey, I heard that. Yep. Yeah, you'll hear like a sound before uh, it gets somebody. So you got a chance. If you got your turtle beaches on, you know what I'm saying? Normally, I would say you'd start, uh, you'd want to start setting up your paths real quick, but that was an interesting start, so we're gonna make sure we get everything. Need to make sure we have the basics. I like to make sure I have, like, a, you know, a good amount of nitro before I do anything. have enough holomite for sure. Let's just collect all these stupid things that I can't really take advantage of. Some health. Alright, I definitely need to call a resupply because I have no ammo. It's going to make it easy to do the uh, method where you put them kind of together. 
I mean, I, I mean, we don't really even need it, honestly, but we will anyways. That's why the driller is so great. You can just interact with uh, so much in the, in the game. And a lot of the other classes don't get to do. Scout gets to it with movement, and uh, that's all. That's why I also like to play Scout a lot. Nice, he got the. Oh, shizzle dizzle, there's things behind me. Oh my god. Yeah, we got friends incoming. See you later, bruh. Hmm. See you later, bruh. You get wrecked. Let's see what we get this time. Hmm. Request accepted. Stand clear. Hump jack inbound. Ooh. Cool. Hey, a scale brigade. Uh, skin, nice. See an Enor that I was talking about earlier over there. Oh my god. Look at these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine loot bugs just chilling over here. Wow. Rip loot bugs. Mega kill. So I was too distracted by the mega kill. Uh, the loot bug genocide to do what I, oh, one survivor. Live to tell the tale as you eat. The guts of your friends will keep us warm for a long time. Got the resupply again soon. When you're on maps like this, you got like a set, you know, point to back to. There's no point to not just like let it all go. Skittering horde. Okay, well that's, yeah. Actually, perfectly set up for that. Not ah, skittering? Okay, I thought it was uh, little babies, but that's still fine. As you can see, you just get him to come into these zones. And then, uh, Kanye said, don't let me into my zone. They don't want to come into my zone. And then they die in my zone. Forth. I'm using minimal ammo. Uh, I used to take thorns for, th for these kinds of things, but on the driller, uh, it's kind of pointless to take thorns since you can just do that and instantly kill. Because thorns are pretty much only to kill those. Now, I was just playing a game earlier where those uh, native site little hatchling things, that little lightning guys swarmed me and I, where I would have survived before for, with thorns I didn't this time um, they're not as easy to kill so that's you know up to you if you still take thorns on drillers or not but I pretty much use them on everything else except for like auto cannon uh, gunners because they're kind of like a driller and the fact that they can kill hordes of things pretty easily these diamond boys in here, oh my eye. So fancy. I look to join your ranks soon. Can you? I 
kind of a dick. Oh my, okay. You kind of a dick. Right. Oh, hello. Oh, see you nerd. We did it. This is an interesting one. I assume this is going to be much harder, but with the uh, pipelines so close together, there's just not much to do, you know? All pipelines and pump jacks built. They're ready to start extracting the liquid morkite. Return to the refinery and start All there is left to do is do 360 uh, mining shots. And cue the montage. Little do they know I can't do that. <laughs> Oh yeah, I okay, might not have that. Probably does. Hmm. 36 left? I feel like there's gotta be more. What if I get way the frick up here and I find out? There you go. Yeah. Jump on my head, boy. Never mind. I don't need that. Can I tell because it gets, uh, it lights up next to where you're going? I got it all. It, oh, hmm. Worth. Yes. Didn't see that part. I hear some friends coming in. Eight seconds isn't long enough to set up a, a wave of flames. Eight seconds as in the, the life of the, the duration of the flames. Alright, I'm gonna do this one more time and I think we are ready to go. Do we even have enough for another one? Doesn't seem like it, but who cares? Oh, we do. Hell yeah. Always nice to have more stuff, you know what I'm saying? Capitalism. Lay edgy. Spitter. Oh shit, a lot of stupid spitters. Calculated. Alright. Got him, I think. He's caused fear. So I like to fear Praetorians when I run by him. They're not stopping yet. I think that NG was having my back, yeah, he totally did. Cool guy. Tatita, holy shit, yeah. Okay, we got two down. Okay, it's fine. The pressure's not focusing on us at all. Ooh, we got two of them, huh? Oh yeah, I take Iron Will and Dash as my active perks, as you can see at the bottom left there. Uh, dash just allows me to do stupid things like I just did. Do them really quickly. 
and then run out of positions. Of course, it's always nice. I'll do it again. I just like to blow things up. Pretty sure oppressors take more damage to auto attacks on their weak points. Nice, okay. Yeah, uh, refinery missions will, if you don't know, which many of you players probably do, they will infinitely spawn enemies, just like point extraction missions. So you do actually kind of want to go quickly. Nice whiff, bruh. All right. I'm gonna resupply real quick. So we're kind of lucky we haven't seen any uh freaking boomy boys. Bulks. Man, I just seen. I was always right next to him, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I don't like this situation at all. I didn't like that corner, so I wanted a gun. need to focus on the ones that are attacking the thing. He knows that, I'm sure, because he's a diamond, in case you guys don't know. Uh, if they're all just attacking that, you can pretty much just walk into crowds of as many as you can handle, because uh, they won't be focused on you. Just be ready to run for your life once you do it. It doesn't count when you're talking about things like Praetorians and such, because their spit could affect you and oppressors, could uh, AOE you and stuff like that, but the regular stuff. Oh, hello. Gonna drill it so its armor will go away, making it easier for my gunner and NG to kill it. I can kill this thing, but I don't like using so much flames on things. Big boomy. Gotcha, 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 gonna get you really good. Alright. So I think we're gonna win this one quite easily. Luckily I got some uh, diamond boys in here. We made the game a lot easier. Gonna reset because we have like 10 million of them. Hmm. I assumed this level was gonna be really hard. I had people that actually joined in, saw what it was, and just left immediately. But, uh... They just screwed. You are actually, uh, you know, as a driller, you, are, you aren't really good against the other ones, but you're good against the Brundle, which is the armored one, because, you know, they can't hit it. Nobody else can. But really, if you have a scout that's paying attention, we don't have one this game, uh, you can just kill, you know, everything every flying thing with a cryo grenade. That's why no matter how good I feel like the uh, slow field is or the pheromones, which used to be freaking broken OP and aren't anymore, they're just good now. Um, cryo grenades are really good because since you can instantly kill all the swarmers, which puts you on par as drillers and gunners, auto cannon gunners that is, and uh, also lets you kill aerial units, which is huge. Nobody else can do that. The, the AOE on the cryo grenades is huge. What the video on showing that off? And yeah, that's the GG, folks.
Thanks for watching, y'all. I hope you guys learned something out of this. Uh, if you did, then, uh, you know, leave a like. Subscribe. I got some more coming. I also stream uh, here and there at night mostly. This game, I stream with my partner, Dev, uh, which is, a, you know, Hippie Dev. That's our name for the channel. Uh, we stream a lot of HOTS and Valheim and this occasionally. So uh, come join us sometimes. Links will be in the description. Thanks. Bye.